Yo, there's a lot of corny motherfuckers that get their history on music from fucking YouTube and Wikipedia and like one fucking huge fucking myth that I want to put to fucking bed once and for all is that grunge killed metal in the fucking early 90s. That's complete bullshit. It's fucking VH1 MTV special fucking melodramatic fucking get ratings bullshit. All right. First of all, American heavy metal. When you think of what got killed by grunge, you're talking about hair metal. Hair metal killed itself. Hair metal was fucking like dumbed down new wave of British heavy metal looking like the New York Dolls, you know? And it didn't take long for like Hollywood and all corporate America to fucking catch on. And the next thing you know, like instead of like the token punk guy in the fucking background of like the cheesy teen 80s comedy, you got like a heavy metal fucking dude, bro. You know what I mean? And so it was either that fucking stereotype all these fucking stupid power ballads. Now, young kids ain't trying to listen to power ballads. Maybe when you're fucking up at the point trying to make out. But, like, metal kids were all about, like, finding heavier music. So at the same time, of course, you had thrash metal. You know, bands like Metallica doing, like, the new wave of British, British heavy metal right. And, but, like, thrash's window was so small. You know, and, you know, at, and by the time it all fucking came to an end, at the time that the 80s all came to an end, bands, even bands like Metallica, like, were, like, on MTV with their power ballad. So, like, the metal kids, like, like, left thrash metal and they were into death metal. And I hate when people say that, like, Pantera was the only band to carry the flag in the 90s. Get the fuck out of here. Bands like Morbid Angel, Death, all these fucking bands, even more underground, Immolation, <coughs> Fuck. So many bands in the 90s were keeping it going. But, you know, the corporate America decided that, like, you know, we really can't market this death metal shit in, like, 92, 93. But, like, Nirvana was, like, just extreme enough to get all those cookie-cutter people. No offense to all you Nirvana fans, but it's the truth. Fucking, so, Nirvana and grunge didn't kill metal. Like, hair metal was just played out, and thrash metal just kind of played itself. You know, it was like, once it soon to start getting hot, it fucking sold out. You know, all those bands, like, the, all the thrash bands would do, like, softer songs. And kids went to death metal and grindcore. And, um, that flourished in the 90s. There was no shortage of death metal and black metal and grindcore and doom metal bands in the 90s. And I hate to think people want to give it to fucking Pantera, who was fucking, first of all, fucking Phil Ensemble, a fucking racist piece of shit. And, like, what they were doing was just, like, the 80s thrash with better production, you know? Like, Terry Date was an awesome producer, you know? Cowboys from Hell, Far Beyond Driven, Vulgar Display of Power, those records got some good riffs, you know? But it was, it was just good musicianship, playing a style of music that was kind of played out five years before it was hitting. But, you know, all the fucking mainstream people that didn't know about writing to bands and tape trading and all that shit and the death metal extreme scene on, like, in the underground. Like, so, yeah. That's pretty much it. Like, you know, and then, like, grunge fucking died quicker than it fucking came, which is a, the biggest joke, you know? Metal bands made a comeback in the 2000s, and then all of a sudden, like, it was, like, okay, like, for commercial bands, like, on, like, TV to fucking have, like, the death metal vocals. And it was like, oh, wow, now this is okay? Like, you know, in the 2002, 3, 4, when all these bands started breaking big, hate breed, awesome band, fucking, but they had those death metal vocals that would have never flew on fucking MTV in fucking 89. I'm telling you, don't believe the fucking hype. Chuck D said it back in the day, 1988. <laughs> Don't believe the hype. All that shit you see on fucking VH1, it's all fucking crap. 
And there's also no room for right-wing rhetoric in fucking metal or hardcore or punk rock or fucking grindcore or fucking doom metal. Some of those black metal fucking jerk-off bands fucking had, like, fascist fucking imagery and whatnot. But fuck them and listen to Neck Be a Death Camp. And this is Bobby O saying, go fuck yourself. Praise Bob. The fates have brought you into possession of a subgenius instructional video barrage tape. Prepare yourself. You are about to be remade into a new being through forbidden knowledge previously kept secret for centuries by the jealous priesthoods of many religions. Caution. Improper viewing techniques may lead in some persons to dependency, seizures, cranial fits, priapic conditions, micturitions, sternia, subtle glandular mutations, and in some territories, legal arrest. However, if the viewer follows instructions and trusts completely in Bob, this tape can produce an unsurpassable beatific experience that can last for hours, days, weeks, possibly even centuries. This videotape bears a patented Dobbs Drome PowerShell time code, which may cause some home video decks to react unpredictably. Although only a small percentage of playback systems or their owners have suffered permanent damage from pets in the viewing room, may exhibit unusual behavior as may small children and certain less evolved adults. If such behavior anomalies last more than two days after viewing, consult a physician. Without proper organic coolants, such as FROP, has been blamed for three recent cases of spontaneous human combustion. Do not over-medicate. High dosages have so sensitized the third nostril receptors of some viewers that they were unable to stop seeing the tape even after it had been turned off. This tape is to be used only by the person to whom it is prescribed. Do not operate a motor vehicle following the viewing. Do not operate heavy farm machinery at speeds over 70 miles an hour. The demons you may see during the initial hallucination sequence are not real. If you do not panic, this phase will end after a few minutes. If you have trouble re-entering the Earth plane, focus on Bob and chant his name until you remember your own. <laughs> We are having operating difficulties, which has necessitated... Hell awaits, a diary of a madman. Here's a lycanthropy heavy metal poster, ACDC or a blood cult. How would you like for your daughter to bring this gentleman home for dinner? If you feel like dancing, now's the time. If you feel like dancing... CIA is ordering the White House to conduct broadcast TV radiation LSD experiments on Americans to attract the attention of a younger audience. CIA Director James Woolsey said he expects the experiments to feature endorsements from TV and rock stars. The U.S. military expects the younger audience to fully comply. 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 Fully comply.
24 hours a day. So order now and you'll find yourself bombarded by rock music, skillfully manipulated by the artists you love, by using television, not just watching it. Wow. Now you laugh about that. Uh, but what is rock music really and truly saying? <laughs> Yeah.